Hi, this is Dr. Brian Walsh with FatIsNotYourFault.com. We've all heard about that we need a healthy gastrointestinal system in order to have a healthy body. One of the reasons why is because we need to have healthy gut bacteria in our system. And if that's ever imbalanced, it's usually referred to as dysbiosis, which is an imbalance of good to bad bacteria. Now, just like all living creatures produce waste, so too do bacteria. And these bacteria, the waste that they produce can be toxic to us. Some of the toxins that are referred to as lipopolysaccharides. And in the research, it's very clear the negative impacts that lipopolysaccharides have on our body. So here's many of the reasons why you very much want to try to get a healthier gut uh, in terms of a healthier bacterial imbalance. Lipopolysaccharides, according to research, can impact brain function. Specifically in the brain, it can lower uh, dopamine levels. Dopamine is associated with uh, things like motivation and willpower and depression. Uh, it can also lower uh, serotonin levels, or 5-HT. Of course, serotonin is also well known to uh, be associated with uh, depression, as well as it can damage something called the hippocampus and the amygdala. The hippocampus is associated with converting short-term to long-term memory. So in the case of damaged hippocampus, what you can get is an inability to remember things that happened in a relatively short time ago. So if you can remember uh, you know, an event maybe five or 10 years ago, but you can't remember what you had for lunch yesterday, there might be an, an indication that your hippocampus is not working well. But lipopolysaccharides also impact our gastrointestinal system. And in the gastrointestinal system, they're known to cause something called leaky gut or intestinal permeability. Leaky gut allows food particles that would normally be digested and absorbed fully into your system before they're fully digested, which causes an immune system response. Another thing is, you have things in your gastrointestinal system called villi. They're basically these finger-like projections that increase surface area so that you can better absorb your food. If you have decreased villi, you have decreased absorption of important nutrients, and you can be looking at things like possible malnutrition. Another thing that lipopolysaccharides do is impact the thyroid gland and thyroid physiology. What do they do? One thing is they lower TSH, made by your pituitary gland, which stimulates your thyroid to make thyroid hormone. Without TSH, you don't have adequate amounts of thyroid hormone. T4 is an inactive thyroid hormone that's converted to T3, which is active. Lipopolysaccharides has been shown to decrease the conversion of T4 to T3. And lastly, it actually acts on the receptor sites for thyroid hormone itself. So even if you had adequate amounts of thyroid hormone, you can't get it into the cells. Thyroid hormone, of course, is impacted with your body's metabolic rate. The lower your thyroid hormone, the lower your metabolic rate. <clears throat> In the kidneys, it's been shown to decrease excretion of chemicals, which is problematic. Because the, the kidneys, one of the things that they're designed to do is actually get rid of uh, excess chemicals and toxins and certain minerals and ions and electrolytes from our body. If it decreases the excretion, then those tend to stay inside of us. Another thing that lipopolysaccharides has been shown to do is increase a hormone called ghrelin. Ghrelin is typically associated with hunger. So if you are, your stomach is empty, then your gastrointestinal system makes ghrelin to make you feel hungry so that you eat. Lipopolysaccharides increase great ghrelin. So you, there's a good tendency that you'll have an increased appetite and increased cravings simply because you have excess bacteria causing these endotoxins. Also associated with this is the other hormone is called leptin. leptin is the hormone that's secreted by fat cells in order to tell you that you're now full, that you no longer to keep eating. So now you have increased hunger, increased appetite, increased cravings, and a decreased message being sent to your body that you are now full. <clears throat> Another thing that lipopolysaccharides do in the liver is it decreases it, your ability to detoxify substances. Obviously, this has a number of negative ramifications associated with this as well. Lipopolysaccharides are a stress, so they'll increase your cortisol levels from your adrenal glands. And I did a video on why increased cortisol is bad. Lipopolysaccharides also will decrease your zinc absorption, and this has a number of negative repercussions as well. Zinc is associated with a number of really important uh, functions in the body, including things like the production of hormones, like testosterone. Also, zinc is associated with the production of hydrochloric acid in your stomach. So if you have low hydrochloric acid, it may be because you have a bacterial infection and you're actually decreasing your absorption of zinc. Obviously, lipopolysaccharides are going to be, uh, cause things like increased inflammation in the body, as well as increased oxidative stress. Increased inflammation and oxidative stress can also impact a number of these other things that are already going on in the body. And of course, 
Uh, oxidative stress and inflammation are known to be con uh, causative factors in a number of today's chronic uh, conditions. Another thing that it does is inside of your cells, you have things called the mitochondria. Mitochondria are where ATP is, is produced, your energy is produced. They're the powerhouses of the cells that make energy for your body. Lipopolysaccharides have been shown to damage um, mitochondria through oxidative stress and other mechanisms, but then what you have is you have a decrease in ATP, so you have decreased energy, you have decreased and, and maybe increased fatigue, for example. And another important aspect of this is that lipopolysaccharides have been shown to reduce something called glutathione. Glutathione is probably one of the most powerful intracellular antioxidants that our body has. So without going into this any more in detail, lipopolysaccharides are toxins produced by bacteria. If you have dysbiosis or some imbalance of good to bad bacteria in your body, there are a number of negative consequences that can be caused by those bad bacteria or the toxins that they're producing. So this is one of the reasons why when you fix your gut, and many times you can fix many of the other things that are going on for your body. Thanks very much. I hope you found this helpful, and I look forward to hearing from you soon.